All right, it's time to rock and roll on this thing. Let's get her done here. Get this upper radiator hose off really quick. And uh, we're going to get this thing out of here. All right, look at that. Probably going to make a little mess, but it's all right. I don't care. Get this end off. There's that end. Let's see. Of course, everything's got to be stuck. Okay, lost her clamp. Okay, clamp up. All right, so up right here, hose it off. Get this stuff done. That lower hose is tricky on this thing. Can y'all see what I'm doing a little bit? I'm sorry, we'll come back to that one. Go ahead and get this heater hose off. I always remember too is your heater hose that goes from your water pump is always the one that goes on the bottom of your heater core. Of course y'all, sorry about that. I know y'all feel. But the one from the water pump down here, right there, always coast back to the lowest point of your heater core so the one from the water pump is always on the bottom and then the one that's on the top always goes to the intake that way the flow of coolant there flows through goes through the heater core and then comes back out and then flows to the intake that way if it's any air in there it's pushing it out and not the other way Let's work on this and just done. I know it's not the uh, best video quality, but I want to get this done and be done with it. We got to get these hoses off here and get this thing knocked out. So make two trips in this thing. That was it. All right. Got a little corn in it. That's all right. Hey, good. Just let it drain. It's gonna hurt none. Hey, good. Cold. It's kind of orange. I mean, it's got antifreeze, but oh, that came off easy. I'm trying. I'm trying to pull it like that. Okay, it feels good. Yeah. When you take in, uh, get your hand against that. All right. So we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and get the. Uh, Let's get this radiator out of here. Get that done real quick. And getting this radiator out is not fun. It's not. That lower radiator hose on this thing is something else. Y'all see what I'm doing? Not really. Transmission lines. Turn it just a little bit. Y'all can't even see what I'm doing. I apologize. There, get the radiator out, dry shaft out, and what was the other thing that? to come out so the radiator in my personal opinion is the fragilest part of ever pulling the engine out because you got to be extremely careful with it you don't want to put a pinhole in it and uh it's not good so and then the dry shaft you know you got to be careful about that as well because you don't want to lose any caps so i'd say get your radiator out get your dry shaft out and it was one more thing I can't think of that you got to be kind of careful about. <clears throat> Let's swallow the frog. 
<clears throat> Why does everything come apart so easy and you can be done with it you know, quickly, but yet when you're putting it together, it takes hours. Just don't get that. I already got these transmission lines undone. radiator hose is going to be fun. No, that's not going to leak. Mm. That's going to be interesting. I'd say take the fan guard off next. Let me show y'all what y'all got so you're not just looking at, you know, the beautiful woods right there. Alright, so we got the, uh, we got the uh, cooling lines off for the transmission. We got both of them off, so they're free. Went ahead and got our upper radiator hose off. Got our heater hoses off. So, the only thing we got left now is get that lower radiator hose off. And that, that's going to be fun. I cannot stand. That's one very, very poor design. The lower radiator hose, the brake lines on the front of this thing, and uh, the transmission lines. I think I said that. Just this junk. It's a very poor, poor design. But anyway, so we got all that off. I gotta go down here and I can't just pop that hose off down there because it's such a tight fit that, you know, I don't want to be, you know, pulling on it too hard like that and bust that radiator. You gotta be careful about that. You gotta be extremely, extremely careful with the radiator. Once you get the radiator out, you get a dry shaft out and, uh, not think of the third thing there's something else there you got to be kind of extremely careful with i can't think of it maybe the distributor cap maybe that's what i'm thinking when you pull an engine out you got to watch it distributor cap of course just take it off but all right we're going to go to part two here so we didn't really get that far on this one but i will see you on part two and get this radiator and all this other stuff out of the way